Welcome to another I Show You module. Today I'm going to be talking about web hosting. Web hosting is a topic that I know lots about since I've been doing websites and web development since 1998. I've worked with many companies and uh, many hosting companies and today I'm just going to talk to you about what hosting companies have failed and who really st stood out in my um, experience. The first company that I'm going to talk about is iPower Web. iPower Web is not a good host if you're a business. They are super slow and oversold. They, they try to put too many websites on the same server and it makes it really, really slow. I know that that is the you know term, it's shared hosting, but it's still not even worth five ninety five a month whenever it's that slow. Probably the biggest uh, beef I have with any company is Dot5 Hosting. They they share server space with iPower Web, I'm pretty sure, but Dot5 Hosting is terrible. They actually had their email server go down once for almost two days. And just to tell you off the bat. Don't buy into this hype of unlimited hosting space, unlimited bandwidth, unlimited email accounts. It's all bullshit. It's all a selling tactic. There's no such thing as unlimited. All server space and bandwidth cost money, and they're not going to give it to you for free, especially not for $4.95 a month. Their email accounts are slow, so, so slow, and uh, I don't even know what the hell else to say about them, but they just suck hardcore. And their, their uh, technical support is ridiculous. I think it's either a bot or just so offshore that they talk like robots. And they never help you anyway. I would not recommend any of these companies to business class hosting at all. If you just want a stupid little website that you don't really care how fast it is, you don't really care about email and all that thing, sure it's fine. 4 95 a month, you can't beat it. But if you're a business, stay away. Next up, would be Yahoo Hosting. They're just okay. I really don't recommend them for business either. But um, and if you're really looking for hosting on a budget, you can't. You really can't beat. You know, seven dollars a month to twelve dollars a month. But they're slow too. Network Solutions. I have to say that they're oversold and slow also. But they do have. A lot more features than um, than Dot Five or iPower Web or even Yahoo. Their email's good. GoDaddy. I would not use GoDaddy for anything but registering domains. They are so oversold. They're, I think they're more oversold than Dot Five. They are so slow. I can prove that to you on a, one of my clients' site right now. One, two, three, four, five. Almost seven seconds to load. Are you kidding me? And I have, you know, 10 megabyte internet. Ridiculous. Plus, if you're trying to develop in a back end, every page refreshes like 10 seconds. If you want shared hosting for on a budget, I really recommend HostGator. I know that they're really oversold, but their servers are able to keep up with it because they they just keep up to date with technology and they they uh, they allocate space differently than the other companies. They do try to get you with the unlimited and limited, but I wouldn't buy into that. But for the price, I think that HostGator is definitely the best shared host. Now, getting down to brass tacks, if you are looking for a hosting company that's for business, 
So if you have a small business, medium sized business, large business, the company that I always recommend to all my clients is Mightyware. They offer business class hosting with super fast speeds. Everything's up in like one second. You get what you pay for with this company. And their plans range from... I mean, their shared hosting plans range from, you know, $15 a month, and it's Canadian, so it's even cheaper than the United States. But their servers are located in the United States. You know, $15 a month, always up, to, all the way up to like 105 for the shared hosting. Most of my clients are happy with the 30 to $40 deal because they don't get, you know, 35 gigabytes of monthly transfer, you know, that many hits a month, and that's fine for them. But it's fast, and it's... It's secure and everything's all good with them. But they also offer, you know, virtual private servers and even dedicated servers. So, um, that's about it for my web hosting review. Hope this helped you out a little bit. And, uh, let me know if, uh, you do decide to use any of these companies and if they do work out for you. Thanks.